Hello and welcome to my workshop. Um, you may want to go and uh, backtrack and have a look at uh, video number 111 preceding this one uh, because that will uh, show you how to uh, put the program together to surface this material on the CNC machine which is what we're going to do right now. Surface the table on a 6090 rotor table. Right, um, as you can see this is this is now quite thick. Uh, see it's um, 25, 35, 40, it's 45 millimeters um, thick. What's that, an inch and a half? Something like that. Um, so what I've actually done is I've got some countersunk um, holes here with some uh, bolts, nuts and washers in. Um, and these are sufficient that that the um, when it's done up everything is um, like nearly quarter of an inch or five mil below the surface like this so I can safely um, machine it off without fear of uh, hitting any of the, the bolts with the tools. Um, so what I've done is I've got it in six areas where I can clamp it down and I'm just using standard hex head bolts uh, in the in the T-ways here um, and for the far end uh, I've had to pack it up because the the, the, the rubber finishes uh, short at the end of the, the, the bed um, to keep everything parallel and all nice um, what I've done is I've made a, a packer here which which um, when it's uh, screwed down tight brings it up to the exact same height as the, the, the rubber and it's all nice and flat but uh, overall overall of, of the surface area here uh, there's a little bow in the middle and that is because when I laminated it um, it just came up in the middle a bit and I don't really know why because I had uh, some beams of wood across it um, holding it down but these things happen so um, and it's about half a millimeter bow in the middle so I just want to machine that center part out and so it's completely flat through it so um, we'll just get this put on here and we'll put that uh, modified tool in that 30, 32 millimeter um, bit and um, we'll write a small program in AtCam and surfaces tabletop off. The problem I have sometimes is I make things a little bit too <sighs> too good too well fitting pretty square. Ooh, might be out a little bit. I've got some markings here on the front and on the back. All right, that's that one. There we go. Okay, so I've marked the center of my material and the tool is centered in that area and I've, let me see, let's zoom into that a little bit. You'll see, see there's the program there that I've put into Mark 3. Everything's all zeroed. So now all I've got to do is lift the tool up and start machining it.
So it's really as easy as that. At cam Mac 3 surfacing near the entire area. I'm really not worried about this section down here um, because I've actually never had anything down there. So um, I think if there ever becomes a point where I uh, need to have something down there, I'll just slide the table up and just machine that down lower than what it actually needs to be. Um, so there we are for another video. Um, this will be the first in, um, should we say, a, a series of uh, videos uh, incorporating CNC router, art cam, Mac 3, as well as wood turning on this project that I'm, I'm doing. And a little bit of, um, should we say, tooling or tool making or adjustments to tools. So. If you like my video, please um, press like, subscribe to my channel, red box down there, that'll take you to my YouTube channel, and uh, I'm sure there's something there that will entertain you, or interest you. So, bye for now.